Hello, Virgos. Welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm going to be doing your general reading for soulmates. Let's see who is your soulmate. When are you going to meet the one? What's happening? Since this is a general message, take what resonates and leave what does not resonate. And some parts may or may not resonate. For accurate personal readings, white prayer spells and premium charge crystals, reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram or email. The details are given down below in the description box. Sun or rising or Venus sign in Virgos across watchers. See the messages for you. We have oh king and queen of swords someone is watching you and you're watching this person if there's someone that is on your mind and you're continuously watching that person then don't be mistaken this person hasn't forgotten you you are someone that they're constantly watching you both are constantly watching each other okay and one thing that i'm getting at the bottom of the deck is you both are acting like you guys have moved on you both have blocked each other and the truth is you both are watching each other and very very interested in each other okay so let's see you both are highly ambitious and career oriented and nothing can come between you and your career you and your goals and that is also one of the things that you guys may have gone through a lot of ego clashes competition without even realizing see i was telling you you guys, uh, you're already with someone that could be your soulmate that you're in a competition with. Strange, you're in a competition with your own soulmate. So you guys don't realize it. You guys are still connected. Wow. Five of Wands, Eight of Wands. You both are so obsessed with each other, especially this person. Now, this is something that's about to happen. You both will get completely obsessed with each other. You have a lot to say, but you're keeping it to yourselves because it's your ego. There will be an ego clashes there will be a power struggle but what i'm seeing is eight of wands there's a strong sense of attraction and passion and wanting to be with each other hug each other and just you know get crazy about each other they love you well i would say obviously because you make them happy so why wouldn't they okay and this person is trying to avoid a feeling that you're the one that makes them happy even if you are in a competition this person is happy because we uh, are still somehow connected that's what this person says in you so i'm seeing that you both want to be with each other and have a new beginning but somehow cannot uh initiate uh you know this conversation that let's have a new beginning let's have a solid new start and let's get back and let's um start off with positive feeling there's a strong desire of leaving this fight behind or silent competition behind and start afresh as diehard lovers, as crazy lovers and crazy about each other. Like, let's motivate each other. This is what your plans are. So you guys want to have a new beginning so desperately, but no one is wanting to, you know, let their guard down. It's like you want to win over this person. They want to win over you. It's like you guys are very similar to each other. Don't realize that you both are each other's reflection. Okay, so somewhere I feel like you know why... This thing will not get along because you both are keeping your egos up there. Like you guys want to keep your leg up. Okay, you both seek justice, but nobody's ready to take that first step, like let down their guards. You both don't want to see the truth, despite of knowing the truth, because you think you are right. They think they are right. That's a problem here, Virgos. This is could be a specific read, may or may not resonate with each one of you. Someone really needs to know this. Libra energy, Leo energy, they have feelings. I'm definitely seeing, even if they are making an excuse to send you a message, somehow they want to stay in contact with you because they have feelings. You're their crush. This person has planning to send you a message, if not yet. Yes. Okay, so the thing over here is this person really wants to come towards you with a message of love, but they think that it's going to be a stupid most most embarrassing and awkward thing to do and because they have this feeling like whatever they do or whatever you do you guys always end up into a fight and there's a strong feeling of love and hate going on uh with love being a solid foundation you guys don't realize this the tower what happened in the past or what will happen in the past early stages 
yeah they were flirting initially it's like they were flirting and you were like no i'm not interested in flirting i'm not interested in anything casual so i'm leaving so you kept your self-respect intact and you walked away without giving them any chances or cautioning them or warning them and this person kept on doing what they did because they thought that they can control you and when you both didn't come into each other's control you both have gotten stuck into each other you you guys don't realize you both still watch each other or will watch each other strong sense of passion and desire the tower it's like this person is scared they know storm will come if they reach out to you with a proposal then <sighs> so you both are in this energy of you do it first you do it first no you do it first so i'm seeing there's a lot of healing that this connection needs and you guys are also having confidence issues when it comes to letting your ego aside and you know just going of forward into this connection just healing things and reconciling it's like you both have a good side and then there is a bad side that is literally the bad side is like overpowering both of you is so both of you want this connection but somehow it's not ready to you know step forward because there is some sort of a confusion like is this the one person is this the person for me because this is weird whatever is happening I'm seeing you both are in, interested into each other and have thought many times about marriage. But because you feel like they're not into you or stuff like that and they feel like you're not into them and stuff like that, you are in this 50-50 thought process. Okay, you guys really want to give it like 100% but nobody's letting down their ego. There is a need of a lot of evolution. You need it, they need it. They could be a Taurus or a Sagittarius. Both of you want this. If if this connection happens, like if if you guys let go of your egos, which is going to happen at the same time, which is hard though, then you guys will get married. But if you are going to live with your egos, then there is no chance. So there's a 50-50 chance over here. They have a heart of gold. Inside of them, they feel a strong emotion that they feel connected with you. They feel love towards you. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Okay they feel solid love towards you i'm seeing someone is wearing a rudra sure this person is um fond of crystals or spiritual stuff for some reason they're just not able to express their emotions and they're just keeping it to themselves how much they have feelings for you what about you You are like, whatever, I'm letting myself off because what you think about this person is they do, you think that this person will turn out to be a narcissistic person. They will try to control your every move and you feel like they will uh, try to control your freedom as well. But you want to be set, you want, you want them to set you free. You want to be free. You want to take a leap of faith and go ahead. You want that this person should come and marry you, you know, talk about those things. And you are expecting too many things from this person's end only you want this person to try and catch you every time you want this person to be possessive towards you and you have this feeling like i want this care and attention but you also have to give that so that's what i feel you think that this person is highly proud of themselves because of what they, whatever they have or own and you don't want to pamper or stroke there you go and that is the reason why you want to let yourself be free but in your mind you still are waiting for this person you're still waiting for a communication to happen you're resisting you're not able to make a decision you're not able to get out of this person you know you're not able to take this person out of your mind libra energy aries energy a person because you guys are connected through two of cups this is a soulmate confirmation you guys so badly want to be with each other there is love there guys but you both are like no you first no you first that's the problem here there is a new you know beginning that can happen between the two of you but one person or both of you actually both of you need to let go of your egos until unless you don't realize that this is the ego issue you guys can't meet on the same page you guys are not on the same page let me see what does this person want to convey to you Yes, they know that because they're not happy without you and they're wondering whether you're still okay without them or do you miss them? Yes. Yeah. 
this this person is older more mature or this is someone that is wiser than their age i feel like they are going to take a step forward but they're resisting because of the ego i've told you this person is highly egoistic their emperor energy i'm getting but yes they care for you there's a deep nurturing uh quality inside of them that is waiting to desperately show you only if you let your guard down all right this person is made up their mind if you let your guard down they're, they're ready to change they're ready to shift their energies and take a step forward you guys really need to love and respect each other you guys really need to forgive each other one person has to take that stand playfulness you guys are like literally playing games like kid and not coming forward and this is why you guys are purposely trying to create a red flag situation with each other which is not even existing you both are very good yes someone needs to express and both of you are soulmates okay so that's the thing let me see the most probable outcome between the two of you oh my gosh it's gonna be a hard situation it's gonna be challenging but if you try to manifest this person if they try to manifest you you guys will come together but it's not gonna be easy it'll take time it'll take three months there is a need for effort and manifestation to take place you both need to manifest each other somehow and one person needs to uh be confident to reach out to other person okay there is a need of confidence there is a need of a desire deep desire that should be beyond ego and then there is a need of effort from both the ends so all of these things which is tiresome for both of you what is their next move libra gemini aquarius energy aquarius energy is very strong seven of wands they try to they're trying to show you that they've moved on and they have a lot of options and they have no time that's what they're trying to show off this person keeps a close watch on you probably spies on stock and they know what's going on in your life but will never say it to you on your face okay they're very attracted towards you they keep watching you they feel good about your success but this person will always show you that hey i don't even know you i don't even remember you this is what i'm seeing they so want to freak they, they so want to come towards you but they freak out every time because they don't want to like lose the self-control that they have right now and it's something that's temporary so will this person take a move towards you make a move towards you let me see the confidence issues yes they will you have to keep patience because you guys are going to come together on the same page and work on things and this is going to be beautiful okay you guys will come to each other let me see can advise yes you both are on a spiritual journey and both are going to come collide into each other things will become more and more clear and ego needs to be brushed away the more spiritual you get the lower your ego becomes let me see what else you're on the right path whatever you're doing keep doing that okay or this means that your person this is the one okay so you guys have actually met the one or this is something that's about to happen in your life let me see the signs coming in Virgo. so we have gemini aries taurus we have sagittarius also scorpio taurus taurus again cancer right there you go let me see there you go chaos and conflict you guys someone is 33 here or both of your birthdays add up to three whatever it is i'm definitely seeing there is a lot of chaos and conflict between the two of you but love exists so let me see any other blockages between the two of you i'm also sensing very strong energy of not having enough confidence to let your ego down and just speak your heart out the problem over here is you guys are not allowing uh you know you guys are not being thankful for being present in each other's lives basically it's something that's unusual it's it's a love you know that you guys love each other but you guys just don't want to appreciate this so instead of being thanks to each other and the universe that things are happening that you met the one you guys are just blaming and complaining about things both of you 
Yeah, because you want extra love, that, you know, extra romance and all of these things. Someone is holy six here. You're a person that's full of love. If this person opens up their heart, you're going to give them your all. But I'm definitely seeing there is a possibility that abundance will come in. See, two things that I'm strongly sensing over here is manifestor. Okay, both of you can manifest each other very easily. Number two. The number three, I mean, uh, one, manifestation. Two, the number three, which means that three is a number of manifestation. Okay, so I'm seeing frequent three, which means that you're, you guys are going to, in the end of the day, manifest each other because you both are out of balance and will get into balance real soon. There you go. Yes, it's time for you to just take a break from each other, spend some time alone, and you guys are 100% come to each other. Okay, give yourself more than you've been giving each other a lot of time and effort. So maybe it's in a negative way, but it's time for you to just take a break from each other and focus on all the other things in your life. Yes, because healing is required. You both are just binding each other to high expectations and that is getting toxic. So once you're unbinding yourself and starting all over again, you will heal first. There is a need of more sensuality, more attraction, more magnetism between the two of you, especially you. Get a carnelian for yourself, okay? So you need to make yourself look more attractive to this person by not competing with them and just going with the flow. Any advice? Yes. Stop obsessing over their pictures if you, in case you are, but in future I'm seeing you will. Um, just trust that. This person will marry you. Just trust that marriage will happen. If not with this person, you will get married. You have to have a positive belief and faith that things will happen. I feel like this is someone that is already trying to get to know you more, okay? Indirectly. And is getting more and more attached towards you. And you won't realize it. Even you're getting attached. So you guys are going to come to each other. I'm also seeing go for a higher study. The more stronger you get financially, the more confidence you will gain. You both are stalking each other and want to be with each other, especially this person. There's a lot of ego and that ego is causing a lot of blockages in both of your life when it comes to manifesting things, when it comes to money, when it comes to relationship, when it comes to marriage, all of these things. And this is also making both of you guys dependent and underconfident in life. So clear out things to have a positive new beginning. Overthinking. The reason is overthinking. That needs to be curbed. Okay, what about this person towards you? They so want to come towards you, but the ego thing. They will come with flaws and you have to accept them. This is what they're trying to say. They are a little bit more bossier. They could be a cancer, but they're planning to come towards you. In their mind, they are already doing this. So I'm seeing a long distance. I'm seeing them traveling towards you. Let me see who this person is. What kind of a person is this? Their personality, the way they look. Okay. Very strong. Um, it's talking to other options for sure. But it's not taking interest in anyone, in genuine interest in anyone. This person is highly independent and strong and confident, gentle to talk to, and hides a lot of things and is in control of their emotions. And this person is not interested in anyone like but you and the one that they are interested in they're not talking to that person and that is you so they could be leo they have a strong structure seeing this person talks less so you, most of the time you get misunderstood by you know because they don't express much so you feel like oh they're not interested anything else Some of you dealing with a Scorpio. There's going to be a new beginning. I'm seeing childbirth with this person. Star mother. It's time for you to mother yourself. Take care of yourself first. So that you are in this well-being position. So that this person can feel your love. Okay. When you're angry at yourself. When you're angry at others. You will give off that energy. So be thankful. Mother yourself. Take care of yourself. I'm also seeing something to do with childbirth. 
that's happening so this is about it Virgos. i hope you enjoyed this wonderful reading please do like share comment and subscribe to our i'll see you back again bye